let's figure out how to push or seg to a new view controller. So in your storyboard, let's drag out another view controller object onto the storyboard. So I can go ahead and position this like so. Notice how I'm all lined up nicely, so it's very easy to see them next to one another. I'll give it actually a little bit more space. And how are we gonna access this new view controller that we just added? Well, using storyboards, it is incredibly easy to transfer from one view controller to another. Next, make sure you select your UI table view cell. You can confirm that in your scene outline here. You wanna make sure that you have your cell and not your table view, which would be the whole thing or one level up here selected because when we select the cell, we're gonna want the segue to occur or we're gonna wanna go, go transfer from our current screen and add the new view controller on top. So we're gonna make sure that we have our table view selected here. We can hold down the control key and drag to our new view controller. Kind of like we did with our header file, but we're gonna drag to our view controller instead. And when we release, we're gonna select push segue. And push segues are the de facto segues to use when you're embedded in a UI navigation controller. In fact, they can only be performed if you are in a UI navigation controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And we can go ahead and run our application again. And we're gonna be able to see that we now are able to select our table view cells, and then we get a new view, and we also get this back button functionality for free, uh, whose title is the view controller, or the previous view controller's title. So our previous view controller's title was named planets, and when we go to our new view controller, we see that the back button is named planets as well. So later on, we'll take a look uh, at different types of segues. So if we had looked at our list here, we saw modal and custom. We'll take a look at what modal means in the future. There is one problem with modal, and that's that we don't get the back button functionality for free. So we're going to have to write a little bit more code in order to get this to work. So push segs are a great way to get into navigating between different view controllers.